ever pondered why rain, seemingly simple, is actually a complex phenomenon? It's not just about water falling from the sky. Some people see rain as a refreshing cleanse, a renewal of life. Others see it as a symbol of sadness, a dampening of spirits. But beyond these perspectives lies a fascinating world of science. Understanding the mystery of rain, its birth, journey, and impact is a remarkable adventure. This video will unravel the science behind those soothing droplets. A raindrop's journey begins in the clouds, but how does it get there? Imagine a water molecule hanging out on the surface of a body of water. It could be an ocean, a lake, even a puddle. When the sun shines, it gives this molecule a little nudge of energy, and voila! Our molecule transforms into water vapor, a gas, in a process called evaporation. Now picture countless molecules doing the same dance, rising from the surface of the water into the atmosphere. It's a mass ascension, an invisible ballet. This vapor is lighter than air, so it rises higher and higher into the sky. As it rises, it starts to cool down. You see, the higher you go, the colder it gets. This is where condensation comes into play. Our water vapor turns back into a liquid, clinging onto particles of dust or smoke in the air. It's like when you see your breath fog up on a cold day. These tiny droplets of water start to group together, forming what we know as clouds. It's a bit like a family reunion, all these water molecules coming together again. But what's the role of temperature and air pressure in this process? Great question. Warm air can hold more water vapor than cold air can. When warm, moist air rises, it expands and cools, making it unable to hold all that water vapor. Some of it has to condense back into liquid form. And air pressure? Well, at higher altitudes, the air pressure is lower. This means the air molecules are spread further apart, allowing the water vapor to condense more easily. This is why you often see clouds forming at high altitudes. So, through the dance of evaporation and condensation, with the help of temperature and air pressure, our little water molecule has transformed into a raindrop nestled within a cloud. It's a fascinating process, isn't it? So, our raindrop is born in the clouds, but how does it fall to the ground? Let's find out. Our raindrop, now nestled in a cloud, is set for its descent. But what triggers this fall? The answer lies in the dance of particles within the cloud. Picture this. It's a grand ballroom in the sky, filled with tiny droplets and ice particles. As they mingle, they start to combine, growing larger and heavier. These larger droplets, now too hefty to be suspended in the air, begin their journey downward. This process is known as coalescence. But hold on, it's not just a simple drop and fall. The size and weight of the droplet are crucial. Smaller droplets, lighter and more whimsical, can be carried upward by air currents, delaying their descent. However, once a droplet reaches about one hundredth of an inch in diameter, it becomes too heavy to resist the pull of gravity. And so it begins its downward journey, breaking free from the cloud's embrace. This is where gravity takes the stage. This unseen force, a constant presence in our lives, is the key player in our raindrops journey. Gravity pulls everything towards the Earth, raindrops included. The larger the droplet, the faster it falls, reaching speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. But what about tiny droplets, you ask? They do not escape gravity's pull either. They may fall slower, but fall they do, either as a gentle drizzle or a misty fog. This entire process, from the formation of droplets in the cloud to their descent to Earth, is what we call precipitation. It's a term you might have heard on a weather forecast, but it's so much more than just a word. Precipitation is a complex, beautiful dance of physics and chemistry, a dance that gives us the gift of rain. Gravity thus plays a vital role in our raindrops' journey to Earth. Whether it's a gentle drizzle or a torrential downpour, remember, each raindrop has danced with the clouds, been pulled by gravity, and journeyed thousands of feet to touch the Earth. What could be more magical than that? Raindrop's journey doesn't end with its fall, it has larger roles to play, wondering what they might be? Let's start by talking about the environment. When raindrops fall, they don't just wet the ground, they also help to redistribute nutrients in the soil. This process, known as leaching, is vital for healthy plant growth. Rainwater also aids in the decomposition of organic material, which releases essential nutrients back into the earth. But it's not just the soil that benefits. Rain plays a crucial role in maintaining our atmosphere's balance. When it falls, it cleanses the air of pollutants, providing us with fresher, cleaner air to breathe. Now let's move on to agriculture. 
Rain is the lifeblood of farming. It provides the water needed for crops to grow. Without it, we would be heavily reliant on artificial irrigation, which can be costly and less sustainable. Rain also helps to replenish groundwater levels, which is a crucial water source for many agricultural regions. But the impact of a raindrop doesn't stop there. When it reaches a water body, it contributes to maintaining the water cycle. From small ponds to vast oceans, each raindrop helps to keep these bodies of water full. This, in turn, supports a diverse range of ecosystems, from fish and amphibians to water-dwelling insects and the birds that feed on them. Moreover, rain plays a significant role in shaping our planet's landscape. Over time, rainfall can carve out valleys, form new waterways, and even create caves. These physical transformations provide habitats for a wealth of wildlife and contribute to the planet's biodiversity. Finally, let's not forget the psychological impact of rain. The sound of raindrops pattering against the window has a calming effect on many, providing a sense of peace and tranquility. So, as you can see, each raindrop, each shower, every downpour, plays a vital role in sustaining life on Earth. It nourishes our soil, supports our agriculture, replenishes our water bodies, shapes our landscapes, and even soothes our minds. Rain, therefore, is not just a phenomenon, it's a lifeline. Like a coin has two sides, rain too has a darker side. Can you guess what that might be? Yes, it's true. As soothing and life-giving as rain can be, it also harbors a more ominous facet. When the heavens open up excessively, we witness the raw, unbridled power of nature in the form of floods. A deluge of water can quickly turn streets into rivers and homes into islands. Lives are disrupted and in severe cases, lost. But floods are just the tip of the iceberg. Rain also plays a significant role in soil erosion. The constant beating of heavy rain upon the earth washes away the topsoil, the layer that is rich in nutrients and vital for plant growth. This not only affects agriculture but also leads to the silting of rivers, affecting aquatic life. Moreover, heavy rainfalls can lead to the destruction of habitats. Forests, the lungs of our planet, can be devastated by torrential rains, leading to loss of biodiversity. Animals lose their homes, and the delicate balance of the ecosystem gets disrupted. So, you see, rain, like everything else in nature, is a matter of balance. A necessary element for life, yet when in excess, it can cause significant destruction and upheaval. It's a stark reminder of the delicate equilibrium our world operates on. So, rain, while essential, can also be destructive when out of balance. Scene script. Climate change is the hot topic of our times, but how does it impact our humble raindrop? As our world heats up, the rules of the game are changing for our raindrop. Why? Warmer air means more evaporation, and more evaporation means more water vapor available for rainfall. Sounds good, right? Not quite. This surplus of water vapor doesn't lead to consistent regular rain. Instead, it often results in more intense downpours, followed by longer dry spells. Picture a teeter-totter, if you will. On one side, we have heavy rainstorms causing flooding and soil erosion. On the other side, we have prolonged dry periods leading to droughts and wildfires. Our raindrop, once a symbol of life and renewal, is now caught in a delicate balance, a dance with climate change. Climate change also impacts the frequency of rain, Regions that used to enjoy predictable rainfall patterns may now face erratic weather, making it challenging for agriculture and wildlife alike. In contrast, areas that were typically dry might experience unexpected rainfall, disrupting ecosystems and human settlements. Understanding these changes is crucial. It's not just about our raindrop anymore. It's about our crops, our wildlife, our cities, and ultimately our survival. By embracing sustainable practices and reducing greenhouse gas emissions, we can help restore the balance. Our actions today will determine the fate of our raindrop tomorrow. So, we've journeyed with our raindrop, understanding its birth, fall, impact, and challenges. What's the takeaway? From the birth of a raindrop to its descent to the ground, each raindrop plays a crucial role in our ecosystem. We've seen how rain can be both a life giver and a destroyer. And importantly, we've learned how climate change is altering this natural process. So remember, next time it rains, each drop has a story to tell. Unraveling these stories is key to understanding our planet and our future.